Now, my next question for you, you know, we kind of talk about a little bit of your journey, you know, the OSCP. What's your advice for someone that's probably job hunting um, for being a pen tester, right? What's the interview experience like, or what's some ways that they can probably prepare for these interviews? I would say the number one thing you have to understand is that you're going to get a lot of rejections. And yes. this might be a little bit of a hot take, but I would say the majority of job postings are ghost jobs for people who don't know what ghost jobs is. They're just fake job postings. Yep. Uh, companies post job postings to... They post job postings to make it look like they're growing. And some companies even post job postings to intimidate their existing employees to yeah. like tell them they're replaceable. It's kind of really, it's really bad. But, and then some I think are threat actors too. I think some job hosts are actual threat actors trying to get people's data and information. So I understand that yeah. a lot of job postings are just fake. And yeah. then the ones that aren't fake and that actually do decline you I would say a lot of it has to do with um, not your qualifications. It has more to do with a culture fit. Um, mm. And I realized that because of my current company, like, you know, I'm in my internal pen testing meeting and, you know, they're talking about interviewing candidates and they were talking to the senior pen testers like, hey, what do you think about this guy? And and they're like, yeah, he's great. He's got everything we want, all the skills, and all the knowledge we yeah. want, but he's not a culture fit. Like, he just didn't fit the culture. And yeah. they didn't hire him because that. And it's like, you know, what can you do?